guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a tutorial on this Joker look that I have here. So if you guys are interested in how I transform myself into the Joker, then please stay tuned. Okay guys, so to start off this Joker tutorial, I got out of the shower and let my hair dry for a few minutes and when it was semi-dry, I took a comb and combed my hair into the desired shape that I would like it to be for this look. And I just used things that I had around the house. I have this Gorilla hair gel and I just took that product and took it in my palms and then just distributed it all throughout my hair and then took my comb again and made sure that the product was all throughout my head. And then to set that, I took this Aussie Mega Hairspray and I sprayed my hair and made sure that it was in the desired shape that I wanted it to be. Okay, so now that we have our hair in the shape that we want it to be in, I'm going to take this temporary green hair color spray on shampoo out that I just bought from Walmart and I am going to give it a shake and I'm going to spray this all throughout my hair so that I have hair like the Joker. So let's see how this goes. Okay, and my hair is really dark to start off with so it might take a couple layers. And this stuff doesn't smell very good, so make sure you have some ventilation. My window is open, so it gives me some ventilation up in here. And as long as your hair is relatively green, I think people will know who you are. And I think as it starts to dry, it becomes more green. So yeah, that should be good. Okay, so now that my hair is the green color that the Joker has, or somewhat, um, I'm going to start on the face. And to begin, I'm going to take my Angel Bell Primer and prime my face. And I feel like this primer might give off like a little bit of a white cast. So I feel like it is good for this look because the Joker does have very pale skin and I'm trying to sort of cover up my tanner skin a word. So I'm just going to apply the primer as I usually would. And I'm going to be doing my face first because once I do the eyes and everything it's going to be hard to put white makeup over everything. So do your face makeup first. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 102 Fair Porcelain. And this is the lightest shade of foundation that this comes in, I believe. And I'm using foundation versus Halloween makeup just because I feel like it'll be more comfortable on the skin. So I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand as I usually would and apply that to my face. Oh yeah, this is super white. This foundation is a good option because it's not pure white. It has a little bit of a tan additive to it kind of like the Joker does. He's not like super white, he's just fair. I'm going to be taking my Morphe G36 brush 
and I'm going to be buffing out that product and applying more as needed. And I'm going to be lightly going over my eyebrows because um, my eyebrows are naturally dark and I want them to be a different color for this look. So I'm just going to lightly go over them with the foundation. Okay, so now that I have the foundation on and I look as pale as the Joker and I got it all over my shirt and all over my clothes, I'm going to be starting on the eyebrows and taking my NYX Ultimate Palette in the Palette Brights and I'm going to be using this green color right here at the bottom and I'm going to be using that product for my eyebrows using my regular H&M eyebrow brush so I'm going to see how this works hopefully it comes off green because my eyebrows are really dark so let us see and I'm just gonna roughly outline my brows it doesn't have to be really neat and precise because Let's face it, the Joker's makeup is pretty grungy and not precise and clean at all. So this is working fairly well. The green is showing up on my darker hairs, so that's good. And before I forget, I am going to be taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm going to set my face makeup with my Real Techniques 103, 103 fluffy brush and I'm just going to apply this everywhere not really baking or anything like that, just making sure I'm setting the makeup. And this is going to be good because it's also going to give my face a really matte and white finish. I'm going to start on the eyes and I'm going to be taking my Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place and taking this maroon color right here, I'm going to start outlining where I want the shadow of the eyes to go. And I'm going to be using my Morphe R38 brush. And again, the Joker has really grungy type of makeup, so I'm also going to be bringing this maroon color under the eyelid as well and just really around the whole eye socket. This is meant to be a fun makeup tutorial and just look in general for Halloween. Mine when doing this makeup look. With the same Morphe R38 brush, I'm going to be dipping into my Morphe 35P palette and going with this darker purple shade here. And going over that maroon color to deepen up the eye, preparing it for the black. I know it looks like I have two black eyes, but 
Joker looks like he has black eyes, so. Okay, so now that we have the base color of the eyeshadow, now we are going to start on the primary color, which is black. And I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Carbon Black Never Fail Eyeliner. That's a long name. And I'm just going to prime the eyelids for the black eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna kind of messily put it on the lids of my eyes. It just broke. And I'm going to just do that to give a base for the black eyeshadow so that the black shadow is more bold and pigmented, I would say, once I apply it. And this can be messy, it's all right. It's gonna be blended out. Okay, so now that I have the eyeliner on my eyes, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette with my R38 brush from Morphe and take this blackout shade right here and start blending that black into the upper eyelid. And you wanna blend it pretty high into the purple and maroon colors so that there will be a nice gradient. So instead of using the Morphe R38 brush for the lower lash line like I did with the other colors, I'm going to be taking my Morphe M169 brush and going into that same blackout shade from the Gwen Stefani palette, I'm going to focus this color closer to the waterline. Now that I'm basically done with my eyes, I'm going to be taking my contour brush from e.l.f. here and my normal Anastasia contour kit in light to medium. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here and kind of um, outlining where I want the contour to be because the Joker's contour is really, his cheekbones are really high and really defined. So I'm just going to be taking my usual contour product and sketching that out before I add a deeper color. So I'm going to start pretty high on the bone right here. And then bring it down towards my chin. Now that I have a pretty rough sketch of where I want the contour and cheekbone to be, I'm going to be taking my Morphe M169 brush once again and dip into the blackout shade from that Urban Decay palette and further define the cheekbone. So I'm going to be starting off with that much product first and blend it out.
And to blend it, I'm going to be using my Morphe R38 brush. And if you feel that color of the contour is too harsh, then you can always go back in with some foundation and your foundation brush and just lightly go over it to diffuse that look and make it look more natural per se. I'm going to finish up the eyes by adding mascara to the top and bottom lashes and today I'm using the Their Real Benefit Mascara and I'm just going to quickly apply that to the top and bottom lashes. I applied my lashes off camera, but I have an extra pair here, and they're the Lash Label N10, or N Degree 10 style. And I also apply black eyeliner on the lower and upper lash line with the Infallible L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner. So now I'm going to be applying some highlight because yes, the Joker doesn't have highlight, but I thought it'd be fun. So I'm going to be using this Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter Powder in Golden Lights. And it's like a white kind of highlighter. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that to the cheekbones. For my lips, I'm going to be taking this NYX, Li NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the color Stone Fox, I believe, and I'm just going to be outlining the corners of my lips. And to fill in the rest of my lips, I'm going to be taking my MAC lipstick in the shade Dubonnet. And I'm just going to fill in the rest of my lips. For some detailing, I'm going to be adding the scars that the Joker has, and I'm just going to be using my eyebrow brush and the Urban Decay palette. And I'm just going to be taking a little bit of the black, and he has a scar right here on his head. So I'm just gonna like draw that. Then he has one going down his eyebrow. And then one corresponding with that one down his cheek. And then he has one above his lip. And then here. 
and I'm going to blend that out. Next, I'm going to be adding the damaged tattoo to my forehead. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay guys, so this is the final Joker look. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. I had so much fun creating this Halloween look and I hope that some of you guys try this at home. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, JessieXJamison, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! I figured since I already have braces, I don't need to put foil in my teeth, so...